lahars are floods of water, rock, ash and debris that can happen during and after volcanic eruptions. Lahars flow down river valleys but can reach beyond them and spread across flatter ground. They can extend many kilometres and even many tens of kilometres from volcanoes and bury vast areas in metres of mud. Lahars can continue for many years after an eruption. People caught in lahars may drown or be buried or suffer traumatic injuries from the large amounts of rock, debris and mud. In 1985, 23,000 people in the town of Armero in Colombia lost their lives when a small eruption in the volcano Nevado de Ruiz melted some of the snow and ice rapidly to form a huge lahar. It swept down the volcano, reaching Armero 45 kilometres from the volcano's summit in just a couple of hours. The community could have been saved had they received warnings and moved to higher ground. While some lahars are small, they can also be immensely powerful. They move rapidly and contain huge rocks, trees and debris. They can destroy bridges and buildings and the banks of rivers can collapse. Houses can be swept into the lahar and move great distances. Lahars can partially or completely bury towns and roads, cutting off escape routes. The resulting muddy sediments are often deep and soft, rather like wet concrete, making them treacherous to walk on. Rescue of those trapped in the mud and debris can be extremely difficult. Lahars can occur during volcanic eruptions, but also in the weeks or years thereafter, particularly during the rainy season or typhoons. If you live in a valley or in a floodplain surrounding a volcano, you should be aware of the potential for lahars. If you're advised to leave by the authorities, do so immediately. If you hear a rumbling from upriver or notice the water levels increasing, move to high ground immediately and do not return until advised that it's safe to do so.